This tutorial is for the TopCon CV5000. In order to get started, let's input some information by pressing this blue button. If needed, you can press clear if there is information already on the screen. But for now, we'll press in. It will bring you to the screen where we have our autorefractive data and our lensometer data. If you press all, all of the information will appear the patient ID is located here and here, which will correlate to the autorefractor and the lensometer readings that our OD tech has gotten for you. I'm gonna go ahead and input the information. And what you'll see is that it will default to our autorefractor into the phoropter. You can change it to the lensometer reading if you prefer and hit set to subjective here. But again, remember it will default to our autorefractor. Go ahead and press OK. The first thing to note is this screen over here. This is what our patients will see in this lower right hand corner. In this other corner here, we'll give you the instructions to give the patient. The first thing that you'll note is that the right eye is the one eye that we'll be working with. The left eye is grayed out, so the patient will not be able to see through that. With the left, or excuse me, with the right eye, we're going to check the spherical power first. So you'll ask the patient which side is more clear, red or green. In order to change that, you can either use the style and move it towards the red if the patient prefers, or you can also use this button here in order to change the spherical power. So when the patient says that it's equal, you'll go ahead and press set, and we'll move on to the axis of the astigmatism. Here, again, the patient will see this OFLCT and it will be a split screen. Same question here is which side is best. The patient will see that the upper right side will be a green edge on the lens and on the bottom left they'll see a red edge on the lens. So again you'll ask the patient which is better. You'll go ahead and move in that direction. If they say red you will turn the knob to the red side and you'll notice that that changes in five degree steps. You can change it to one degree steps to be more precise. And until the patient says equal, you will continue either red or green. Once the patient says equal, you will hit set, and then it will move on to the cylinder power. Same idea here, red or green, which is best. Until they again go to equal, you will hit set when they say equal. The next step will check the spherical power again. Well, if it is equal, go ahead and hit set and we'll go ahead and move on to the visual acuity. Hopefully the patient will be able to see 2020. If so, go ahead and press the, the screen here and it should show you that they are 2020 and record it for you. If they are not 2020, you can go ahead and move the screen up to 2025, 2030, whatever that's necessary. Once you are finished with the right eye, you will hit set and then move on to the left eye. Same idea, instructions are here and the screen is here. Again, if they say equal, you just press this button. If they say red or green, go ahead and go in that direction and then hit equal, if it's equal, hit set, and same thing for the cylinder power. So we'll go ahead and hit set. It will check again the spherical power. And then again, don't forget to press the visual acuity. If they can see that, you can go ahead and press 2020. If you'd like, you can also, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the 2020. If you'd like, you can also randomize the letters for them if the patient is is not sure that they can see it clearly. You can randomize these uh, letters here by pressing this button that says random. So once you hit set, the next thing that you will see is the binocular balance dissociation uh, prism. You'll note, again, the instructions over here, 
the patient will compare the upper and lower characters and you'll fog the eye with the best vision until there's equal vision. Now, if the patient says that the bottom image is more clear, you'll wanna go ahead and fog the right eye by touching the screen. And once you touch that screen, it'll allow you to go ahead and fog that eye. Again, until they say equal. If they say equal here, you go ahead and press set and they should not see double any longer. And again, make sure that this patient can see uh, down to the 2020 line. You can bring them um, with more minus until they can see clearly uh, the 2020 line. Again, don't forget you can use this random button in order to change the 2020 line. Go ahead and record what their binocular vision is. The next step is I'm not sure, whoop, there it is. And the next step is to check their near vision. It will have your fuse cross cylinder up here. However, you will have to manually bring the near point card down. So change it to there. Same instructions, but instead of red and green, it will ask the patient which lines are more clear, vertical or horizontal. Over here, if it's horizontal, you will want to move it in that direction to the left. Until the patient says equal, you'll stop and go ahead and press set. And then it will tell you this is again what the patient will be seeing. So you want to go over back over here and manually change it to the visual acuity for the near. And then back over here, you'll be able to, to record their visual acuity by pressing that button. And again, whatever their visual acuity is, hopefully 2020, go ahead and press, press that button. And um, you can easily show the patient with and without their uh, ad if, if one is showing up. If you hit remove ad, it will remove it and show them without a bifocal and then of course with the bifocal. Once you're complete and recorded the 2020, you can go ahead and press set and show them their distance vision. And again, don't forget to remove the near rod from them. And then back here, you'll be able to show them their subjective response and then against what they were previously wearing, their old prescription. So in order to do that, you're gonna press this button and then press the lensometer reading. Oh, excuse me, I pressed the autorefractor. You can press the RX data and show and compare to the new prescription. Hopefully the patient will find that the subjective response is more clear. And that's it.